So today we are back in Stormworks and we're back with some sinking ship survival with Jesse Gillette. And folks, you want to stay tuned for this one because I might get myself caught inside of the ship. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button for more Stormworks and let's jump in. All right, Komodo, we are on board the Lancastia and this is a ship that I've looked at before, but you have not. Yeah, we've hired you on board and we're going to take you down below so we can start up the ship and get it moving. I've got to admit, I've never worked for somebody before. I have always kind of taken charge and it's always He's gone well, I, I promise you. It, I have a good track record. Flashback. Oh, oh no! no. Wait. For some reason, we weren't able to find your documents, but I think it should be good. No, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. We didn't burn those and burn the other people that were. I mean, yeah, okay, um, where are we going? All right, that was mildly concerning. We're gonna go down below. We're gonna start the ship up. This should be uh, pretty fun. Now, we could go down the stairs, but I actually like to just fall to the uh, I mean, this centerpiece seems here. Slightly dangerous for uh, you know the captain to be doing, but don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Now we gotta get down to the boiler room. Now I believe it should be somewhere around here. It's been a little while. Oh, there we go. We're gonna go down to the boiler room. So who are the other people aboard? Well, those are our wonderful passengers on board today. So they are just gonna be joining us for a nice little voyage and uh, hopefully everything should be good. Nice voyage, okay. Here we have the boilers. Now we can simply just start these up. We also have a vent. That's just in case that the boilers are overpressured. And uh, yeah, we don't want them exploding. So that's why that's there. Uh, do these have a history of exploding or? Uh, Maybe. I can't quite tell. They've been replaced so many times. Wait, what happened to the previous ones? Ah, uh, don't ask. It should be all set to go. I think, uh, I think this is it. Yeah, you can see they're actually starting up right there. All right, so, uh, we're ready to head up to the, uh, helm, or what are we doing? So, yeah, we're gonna go up to the bridge. The bridge. I know my ship terminology, it's fine. We, uh, ha have any, uh, weather conditions today? It's gonna be nice oh, and sunny? Oh, yes, or? it's gonna be a nice sunny day. Maybe an isolated hurricane here and there. Isolated hurricane, that never concerns anybody, it's fine. Not at all. Now, would you like to do the honors of starting up the ship? I think it should be back here, oh, really? actually. Okay. Yes! Uh, lights, nav lights, uh, we don't want the lights on, right, or... Not good. for now. Once we get into some darker conditions, maybe a storm or nighttime, of course, we'll turn them on. But uh, yeah, actually. I'm about to say, is there an on switch? Yeah, I think it's these levers here. They're the telegraphs. I actually uh, forgot that these are supposed to be operated. So what we're going to do is we're just going to activate these and we should be good. There we go. All right, we're moving. So you're going to actually trust me to steer this. Yes, I am, Komodo. You are going to be our wonderful captain for today. And I'm also going to take you on a tour soon. But first, get acquainted with the controls. Oh yeah, no, I got this. All right, Komodo, so how do the controls feel? Are they working well for you? I mean, it steers like a boat. Obvious. But other than that, this feels pretty good. I like it. I might have to steal your job. Um, do you want to turn on some lights? Are we uh, we ready for that? I would like to see this thing lit up. Yes, I will go ahead and turn on the lights now. So there we go. And I'll also turn on the nav lights. Beautiful. I think it worked. I got us aimed in a direction that doesn't look like we're going to collide with any islands. Did you want to uh, maybe give me a little tour? That way I know my way around this boat. We're going to go ahead and we're going to walk around. And as you can see, we've got lifeboats. We are going to need plenty of those. But we also have... Wait, you said we're going to need them? Because we need to ferry the passengers off, of course. Oh. Yes. Actually, fun fact, some ships did use their lifeboats to ferry passengers. That, see, I always thought it was in case of disaster, but I did not know that about ferrying passengers. All of the lifeboats on the ship are used specifically just to ferry passengers, not for any rescuing needs or any sort of emergency evacuation, just purely the ferry passengers. We're gonna go down and we're gonna take a look at some of these interiors. They are very impressive. So going in here, we have a main staircase. It's sort of a spiraling staircase. So why don't we go down and we'll take a look at what else there is. So here we have a piano, so you can play along. I think OB would like that very much. I don't think I'd like to hear that. This way we've got, uh, a room. I think this is a purse's office. And then, yes, a cabin. There we go. Is there any, like, suites or anything that I can stay in? I think we've got one just for you. So let's go this way. We're going to have to go back up. I'm about to say, typically, my suites are at the top of the boat. Just saying. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's bring you to one that is more fitting of your lavish lifestyle. There so we'll go, go this way. See, now this is what I'm talking about. This is surface. I'm glad you hired me. We only hire the finest. The finest. So let me take you this way. All right, here we go. Yes, this is the uh, way that the passengers get down for real. Yeah, this is it's actually a really, really nice ship. I like the interior. 
Yeah, me too. It is actually fairly well built, and it's one of the best ships that I've seen on the workshop so far. Here's a nice room, but this is not your suite. That's oh. just a sort of a first class cabin. We need the luxury million dollar suite cabin. I would hope that it's got plenty of windows in it, correct? I believe so. Okay. Um, well, at least one porthole, but I'm trying to remember where it is. I remember there was a main staircase and it led to a dining room. Maybe I'm in the wrong part of the ship. Anyways, you're looking at some of the amazing interiors. We've got a nice uh, smoking room here. I do like the uh, the skylight here. This is very nice. Yes, and I do like that you can see the funnel and the smoke going overhead. It is sort of a nice atmosphere or ambience. Okay, I'm, I'm digging this. All right, well, here's the main lounge. So if you want to play cards, have a drink, of water, of course. Of course. This is the place to go. Okay, so unfortunately, um, I did have the deck plans for the wrong ship. This is the purser's office area. This will be on your floor. So the cabin that you will actually be staying in is actually this one. The first one that we looked on hmm. on this deck. So yeah. It's nice. Might have to drill a hole in the side to be able to see outside. But other than that, I'll take it. We could offer you the entire lounge upstairs, but the passengers would not be able to access that area, but we only have like five on board. It's or okay. I'll like just that. flash the flashlight in their eyes and get them to go away. Are we gonna be doing this in shifts, or how's this gonna work as far as piloting or captaining the boat? I think shifts would work best. You're on break for now, and I'll go ahead and go up to the bridge. You can walk around, take a look for yourself. There are some lower deck areas that you can explore, so I recommend you go sort of get lost, I guess. Did you just tell me to get lost? Maybe. Holy man! Oh, that rolled in quick. Yeah, I think we just crossed over the divider between normal weather and extremely insane weather. So, as you can see, the ship is, it's handling well, I will say that, in this storm. We've got seas that are really nasty right now, and the boats are sort of swinging around a little bit, but so far, it looks like we're good. Yeah, we're getting hit in the side pretty good. Uh, do we want to learn how to operate the, uh, the old lifeboats just in case we need them? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and lower one? It probably will get smashed up against the side anyways, but, I, I mean, we might as well find out. I mean, we could stick somebody in here just to, just to test. Uh, I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. Does it actually have seats in it? I believe it does. Let me go ahead and grab our wonderful individual who will be test driving the lifeboat for us. The, the lucky passenger. He's very lucky, and I may be very unlucky because I have to climb over this railing and the ship is rolling violently. Come to this side, I'm gonna lower the, uh, lower it down enough to where you can just yeet him into the seat and then we'll, uh, we'll just release it and see what happens. Sounds about right. All right, sir. All right, I'm gonna try something. Oh, no! Well, looks like I'm the captain of the ship now. Look at me. Sure. I'm the captain now. What do we do if the captain falls overboard? See, I don't know because I have the emergency book with me and it seems like it fell off into the water. All right, well, if you think you can get back aboard, uh, we can try testing that again. I, I might be able to get this a little bit closer to the de actual deck. Yeah, that sounds good, but I do have to leave this passenger behind, so... Um, That's fine. We'll have passenger you, to worry about. I'll grab the next guy. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh mean? It means that the lifeboat is slamming and... Oh, my gosh! Nope, oh, it fell off again. Uh... Yeah, that's not good. I I slipped on the deck a little <laughs> that bit. That sounds like a lawsuit. Oh, jeez, I does. just fell off, too. Oh, oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I do see you in the water there. There goes another passenger. Okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop back aboard here. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm oh, gonna, gosh. That is uh, not normal. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, oh, my gosh. The lifeboat just crashed onto the deck. Okay, Holy we... Holy cow. We... <laughs> I think I just saw our passenger float away. Um, we still have more passengers, right? Like, I want to make yes, sure these work. Yes, we do. This is for I'm going to go grab another one on the bow. You know, third time's a charm, right? Oh, my gosh, yeah, these, they're all floating. These waves are uh, really kind of violent. That's what happens in hurricanes, I assume. I'm not 100% sure. I really haven't been in one. You sure you're a captain? Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was really close. Okay. All right. Try it again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, nope. I, I can't move. All right, here we uh, go. No, no, not again. That's passenger number three. You know, we could just click the button and see if it floats. That probably would be the best thing because we've now lost three passengers. Here we go. Launch away. Launch away. Would you sit in that? Oh, dear. Yeah, I don't think I'd actually trust being in that. Um, How about we just go hunker in the, uh, the wheelhouse and just uh, ride this storm out? All right. Well, uh, we rode that out pretty good. We only lost three people. Yeah. 
Three people. You can see land up ahead. We're, we're going to be fine. Everything's great. We didn't take any damage, right? I hope not. I mean, when I saw the ship slamming down into the waves, I was a little bit concerned, but I think we should be fine. Do you get the feeling that we're slightly listing to the left here? Um, I'm going to go down below, and I'm going to take a look and see if there's yeah, any... Let's go check below the deck real quick. Uh... We're going to go all the way down. All right, I am at the door. I will wait for you. We will see okay. what is behind the door. Oh, uh, apparently water. So yep. that is not good. Let me just quickly check. Oh, yep, we've got water flooding in over or actually through a bulkhead. Are the engines going to stop her? Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not going to shut them off because uh, I'm not going to risk it in there. I'm pretty sure that... With the water flooding in at that rate, um, shutting them down may result in my death. You know what? Let's just go to the top, uh, full throttle it, head to the nearest land mass, and then we can uh, we can get off there. Sounds about right. Let's just go ahead and make sure we get these passengers up on deck. If you see anybody below decks, I would recommend bringing them up maybe to the lifeboats because instead of using them as ferrying devices or, well, devices to bring people over to other land. Uh, my brain blanked out there and I thought you were talking about using the people as lifeboats. I was like, what, are we going to ride the people? Let's uh, get them to the lifeboats. I mean, I said earlier Let's we were going to use the lifeboats to ferry people. Is there actually, oh, there we go. I was looking for an actual staircase that went to the top instead of hopping off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the side here. There we go. There we go. All right, that's two. We got more on the front. Uh, if they haven't already washed overboard. I'm actually worried if I stop the ship, the bow is going to just drop. Because the forward momentum seems to be keeping the bow above the water. Uh, I think you're right. All right, I'm going to put this one in. There we go. Uh, do we want to deploy this one? Um, yeah, go for it. Because there's now water starting to come over onto the bow. Okay, here we go. Lowering them down. Hey, at least we don't have to lower them very far. Yeah, look at that. And oh, that is really cool. Release. Good luck, everybody. Awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh they, might, um, they might get hit. Oh. <laughs> no. Hold on. Let's watch them off the back. Let's see if they make it. Can confirm the passengers that we released actually somewhat made it. The, the boat's listing, uh, the lifeboat, but they somewhat made it up. All right. Grab the rest of them. What's our plan? Currently checking all of the officers' quarters right now to see if there's any equipment. Because if there is... You may be able to signal for help, and that would be good. Uh, that would be good. I mean, we're fairly close to land over to the right side. Uh, maybe we should just make a break for it. There is water spewing out of the boiler room right now. I can see the water at the bottom. Uh, it's definitely rushing in. So, do we want to get out of here? Or? There is still some more people on the stern. We may be able to get them off before the ship fully goes down. Oh. The forward momentum does still seem to be keeping the bow up. Well, I mean, it's underwater, but keeping it up enough to not let it plunge. Okay, we'll do a search. Do you have a head count? Do you know how many people were actually aboard? Somewhere in the range of 10 to 12. And actually I just watched now you fly. 11. Okay. Yep. Um, I've got the, I've got a guy over here. Okay, so I've got one on me. I have really bad news. I am now looking at the outside of the ship. The props are starting to come clear. Like they're coming out of the water. Oh, it's going down pretty quick. Uh, all right, I got the one guy. Okay, I'm trying to do math here. Oh, I got another person over here. So that's four, two, that's six. We lost three due to unfortunate reasons. And then I released one on a, I, I still think we're short like a person or two. They may be down below actually. Okay, I'm gonna carry my guy. I'm gonna see if I can locate somebody. I'm going, I'm at the back staircase heading down. Uh, I'm on B deck. I'm gonna head down one more, see if the water's made it this far yet. Okay. Where are the people? Uh, oh, no. what was that? Nothing bad happened. Nothing bad happened. Did you kill somebody? Nope. Maybe. Oh, the lights just went out. Uh, flashlights. I'm looking for anybody down here. I don't see anybody. Uh, you sure it was uh -oh. 10 to 12? What's what's the uh oh? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it was 10 to 12, but the bridge is now taking on water. Okay, I think we should abandon. Kind of stuck. Hey, coming up uh, before I get trapped. All right, here we go. Releasing the boat. So, you know the boat that you dropped onto the deck? Yes. I'm currently trying to release it now. I'm here currently we go. trying to get find my way up to the top deck. Okay, I'm in. Okay, here we go. Staircase. Uh, that's what I call. Okay, here we go. I'm out. Oh, I'm still Oh, yeah, I do top. see you. Okay, I'm flashing my light through the uh, the skylight we talked about. Oh, yeah, I, I see you. Hold on. I'm a bit. I'm abandoning the lifeboat. It's not working so well. It's sort of getting caught in the current. Okay, there is water coming through. Oh my goodness. Uh, are you, oh gosh, you're inside the ship. You are really, there is no way out. Uh, um, okay, there's an opening. I'm about to go through and try to swim back to the back. Here we go. Nope. Okay, oh. coming out. On, under the deck and- Quick swim up. There we go. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. 
All right, I gotta release this boat do you, ASAP. Do you have the last person with you, or what happened to them? I believe that they may be dead. Are you off the ship, at least? Um, I'm at the stern now, and I'm actually climbing up the stern. Oh, dear. Hey, look, oh, a lifeboat. Okay, there's an upside-down lifeboat I'm climbing up on top of. Hey, oh, go. gosh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see you. Currently, I'm on a bench, looking straight down into the water. Um, don't get caught below it. I'm waiting for the water to get close, and then I'll jump in. All right, I'm swimming over. Flashing my light. Where's the nearest landmass? Oh, it's getting dark. A really unfortunate situation we've gotten ourselves into here. Well, uh, I mean, how did I do, though? Would you hire me again? I think you did better than I did. Uh, I happened to kill a lot more people than you did. You know, that's actually surprising. I, I tend I tend to um, cause quite a few accidents on board ships. And, uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say you tend to kill people. I caused the accidents, and then the you, accidents you, kill you the people. You might not want to say anything else there. You're only incriminating yeah, yourself. Yeah, I, I, I'm, um, I'm probably going to get a lawyer. Uh, so this is going to be like the uh, the Rose and uh, Jack situation with the door. The lifeboat seems to well, be going down. Well, you're carrying down. a guy. Well, I mean, still. You, all right, you win. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm going to chunk him off, too. There we go. 